100 miles. You know, that's almost four marathons back to back. How do you even prepare for something like that? My name is Ryan Sands. I'm an ultra distance trail runner from South Africa and I'm gonna be heading to Western States to run the 100 miler there. It's a big thing to say you wanna go back and, and, and win Western States. It's the very first 100 miler, it's the original race. In 2012, I won every race I entered. Then I ran the best race of my life at Western States. 2012 Western States 100 miler is still the best 100 miler I've had, like the best race, just in feelings and stuff, just the whole day just flowed really um, easily. And, um, yeah, I came second. Um, to be honest, I thought I was going to come back the ne next year and like win it. I was like, I can run it the first time and it went this easy. Like ne next year, I've got it waxed. And um, yeah, things didn't quite go according to plan in 2013. I actually like, bust up my ankle about two months out, so I had to change plans. In 2014, came, came back here. Um, probably did like a bit too much racing overcooked it a bit. The race was a lot harder, like I had much higher expectations and ended up uh, finishing fifth. And then um, yeah, I came back in 2015, kind of on the back of, of glandular fever and could feel like I was about to like fall over. So I just, just said like, no, I can't do this. Basically the glandular fever I had was like early stages of, of overtraining syndrome. After spending a good six or seven years of, of running 100 milers now, I know it's, it's, it's not, not that easy. It's that kind of one goal I've really set my kind of mind to achieving and that I haven't achieved. I want to go there and win it, but at the same time, I just want to go out there and just have that ideal race again. My run training has, has been really carefully planned to try and mimic the Western States. I suppose I'm also not getting any younger and the guys are getting faster, so the challenge is getting even harder. The best altitude I can get is, is by being on top of Table Mountain, which is just over a thousand meters, so it's not really ideal for, for training. So I've been doing some training on a watt bike with an altitude mask on my face. Conditions have cooled down, so doing some, some heat training has been really key. I've spent a lot more time than normal at home in, in Cape Town. I feel most comfortable when I'm running along the mountain and I can look down and, and see the ocean. That just keeps me in a happy, sane space and I'm close to my family. Max. What's wrong? Having Max was, you know, it's been really liberating as an athlete because yeah, you know, he doesn't really care about winning or losing or success. What he will look back on one day is if I was a good father or not. <laughs> so it's probably just like quite Max just throws it all upside down and like the chaos is sometimes good because I don't actually think about the race too much until you start running and there's not a hell of a lot to think about with running. You just gotta try and get to the, the finish line and kind of follow your gut. Like it's it's simple. I've put a lot of pressure on myself in the past, which I think has affected my performances but being a father has given me a different perspective. You can't prepare 100% for something like this. You can only give yourself the best chance. A lot of guys kind of come and go into the scene quite quickly and maybe guys have thought after my glandular fever and stuff that I'd kind of gone off the scene and I, and I, I was done. I've been doing this for a while now, so I, I think I know, I know what I'm doing. I know obviously there was a lot of hype before the race about Jim. Um, I guess I'm, I'm just cruising under the radar. So you're looking to be out there for um, anything from like, ideally just under 15 hours, but if things go badly, you can be out there for as long as 30 hours. at a race like Western States. The sport's really progressed to a level now where you're kind of racing from the gun.
I wasn't too too worried about Jim. I realised um, he was either going to do something pretty magical or just going to go up in flames. I just got into a nice rhythm and, and, and was feeling really good and I thought I might as well kind of make up as much ground before it gets too hot. But you run through the canyons and something just brutal about it. You get these like hot pockets of air like that just come out of nowhere and it can just suck everything out of you. Every time I thought I was on top of the race it just came back with another like kind of punch in, in, in the face. I need to get you something really quick. 12 hours and 12 minutes elapsed and no runner through. That means Wamsley's blown up. Run your race, Ryan, run your race. In 2011, ultra running legend Bruce Fordis wrote a message to me saying to a future Western States champ, he wrote that before I ever ran the race. And he believed in me before I believed in myself. If Western States in 2012, if, if I had won it, I would have never gone back there again. And I wouldn't have had all the other experiences I've had around it.